Jeep Brandler here again. Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're going to be talking about the 2018 JL Wrangler. That's not quite it. I got some better pictures for you. Is this better now? All right. First off, I would like to thank JLWranglerForums.com for allowing us to use their pictures for today's vlog for me to explain to you what this new beast is all about. We'll talk about the engine sizes on this awesome JL. First one is the V6 3.6 liter Pentastar engine which comes at delivery time of the Jeep. Talking about delivery time, according to my sources, they're saying between mid 2018 to end 2018, meaning, again, according to my sources, that the JK Wrangler is still going to exist in 2018 and then the JL will be introduced in 2018. The second engine size is a 2.0 liter four cylinder Hurricane engine, which is going to be ready in January for export and is going to be ready in February for the US market. Again, I'm getting all this information from the JL Wrangler Forums website. You guys can check it out. The third engine size is the 3.0 liter eco diesel engine, which is going to be starting in August. So that will be as time progresses, different engine sizes will be ready. And that's what the form is telling us so far. So without further ado, let's get this started. Let's talk about the side by side comparison between the JK and the JL and we'll get into all the details. What we see from the front is a few things we're going to start from the top make our way down is that the slightly more slanted windshield screen you can definitely see that's uh, one big change it's supposed to help the fuel economy more aerodynamics secondly the mirrors have slightly changed it looks like it's it's a bit taller compared to its predecessor over here I also noticed the upgraded wiper blades. I really hope that they sell the Jeep with these upgraded wiper blades without the, the spring hinge. Moving also around the windshield here, I noticed the curvature of the glass. Here we just have a curve at the top corners and then it's quite sharp here at the bottom. Moving down the hood, pretty much the same except for the fact that they brought the hinges up forward here it's pushed back a bit. I also noticed that the design of the hinge has also changed. Going to the front grille, they removed the blinkers from the front grille over here, your left and right signal lights. And they have the, the grille that kind of wraps around the headlight right over here. So there's a bit of an indentation, whereas our old ones didn't. They've also removed the Jeep emblem from the front and brought the grill all the way to the top which is quite interesting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I liked the the Jeep at the front here. I mean it was that signature Jeep logo. It seems like now we don't have that. It's gone. The fact that the blinkers are now on the fenders right over here. So let's say you're off-roading and you damage this fender. It's going to be quite expensive to replace because now you got light fixtures on your fenders over here. Now the question arises which I've read on a lot of forums is that if you remove these fenders and you decide to put flat fenders on what will happen to your blinkers? My thought is that we have not seen this Jeep yet in person but what if there is an integrated blinker within the main headlights over here? I think that would be smart so that if you did decide to remove your fenders, you would still have that option within your headlights. And if it doesn't, then this is where the aftermarket company can really take business and say, look, we're offering all these aftermarket headlights now with blinkers built into it. That way, you throw those fenders off and you'll still have that option of your, your blinkers. Another change is the design of the, the grill the curvature over here compared to its predecessor over here. This has more of the vintage Jeep look, I feel. Moving down, the bumper has changed. Now over here, this is not the greatest example that we're looking at because we're not looking at a stock bumper here. We're looking at a modified bumper here. But again, we all know that 
this is not the, the old style stock bumper. It's more like an anniversary style bumper, which I like. I definitely think it looks a lot more neater than the old one. And you have your integrated fog lights within your bumper right over here. I'm not too sure if these little grill sockets over here are functional, if they're real. Looking at an angled shot, and again, not a stock cheap for the stock JK over here. Because we have an Angry Bird grill at the front here. And we got chrome mirrors. So anyways, comparing the JL right over here, we can clearly see the sloped windscreen right over here. Also, the bumpers for the the hood. Look at these over here. Totally changed. I am actually wondering if they've integrated the, the spray for the windshield, like the actual windshield washer spray, into the bumpers here. It kind of looks like it. Again, we can get a closer and better idea of how they've moved release catches more forward than the predecessor back here as well as a different style so hopefully this will help with the fluttering of your hood at higher speeds hopefully it's a better clamp so look at the the angle of the the windshield right over here now on in this picture over here we can actually see the the lights that are turned on so it looks like we have some running lights that are that are on over here plus your blinkers on the side over here some beacon lights over here on the side view mirrors also looks like they've added a fuel cap door so here we got a vented scoop type of design just behind the front fender flare over here you can see the tail lights now a little bit better over here they do wrap around a bit more as well as just the design that i'm not too favorable for over here i mean it gives the jeep a different type of look and design but it also kind of gives a feel that the top half of the jeep is now a little more lower the tail lights i'm not sure if i'm totally digging these i mean it's a nice new look and nice new design but it also reminds me of the jeep renegade there's a little spoiler at the top here which has totally changed the back bumper again has changed now interesting enough this has the, the license plate right in the middle, not on the side like the previous pictures that we saw. Now we're looking into the interior trunk cargo area. Take a look at the subwoofer. That's massive and I like the position a lot better because I recall them having it right over here in the middle. It's, a, it's an Alpine speaker. Things have changed. Clearly you can see things have changed. It's all plastic. And the interesting part is the outer part of the roll bar cage is painted to match the body color so when looking at the Jeep from the outside it's all painted it's quite interesting all right guys here are some beautiful interior pictures as we can clearly see in the middle console over here that's zoomed in got a sway bar disconnect your media little area over here I'm pretty curious to see what this is all about over here for auxiliary switches over here you have your vented steering wheel or your heated seats. Zooming out a little bit, looking from the back seat, notice that we have new type of air vents at the back here that you can open and close. Also a, a bigger screen at the front here. Obvious is the steering wheel controls that have changed the whole design of the steering wheel that has also changed. Looking from the outside into the inside, we notice that the side view mirror has changed shape-wise. The grab handle has actually moved to the pillar frame over here instead of the top. Steering wheel has changed. It seems like there is red stitching that matches the red dashboard. I see some red stitching on the shifters over here. The shifters have changed. I also see red stitching on the handbrake and on the seats. We also see a bigger display unit over here as well as a bigger display area for alerts warning different view but everything that we've talked about with the grip handles on off to the side now over here on the pillar bars there's your navigation hopefully a, a bit better it reminds me of what you would see in the Grand Cherokee or in the Dodge Challenger okay here is another one looking straight dead ahead looks like a bigger speaker at the top of the dash here which looks quite interesting that's a nice shot push button start something that we we're just talking about in the previous photos where we had the red interior matching the red exterior. Here we have a silver and black. So it seems like it doesn't necessarily go with what you have outside, but I'm not sure if I'm totally digging the 
red panel over here and then the silver you know what I mean and and then you got like the black doors and then you got the tan color seats but good to know that these panels do come in different colors it seems like all right guys here is a Wrangler in a bit of camouflage but it's on a three inch lift by Mopar with 37 inch tires again this is all on the website and you guys can double check it if you guys want but this looks quite interesting first the fact that it's on a three inch lift only and with 37s sources say that Mopar will be coming out with a two inch, a three inch, a four inch, and a four and a half inch. Quite interesting. All right guys, so this sums it up. I'd like to thank the guys at jlwranglerforums.com for allowing us to use their pictures. And I wanted to give you my opinion about the JL Wrangler. I honestly think that time's got to change and so does the Wrangler. So. We've seen the TJ, we've seen the YJ, we've seen the JK, and now we're seeing the JL. And I'm glad that they haven't changed it drastically. They've kept the signature 7 slot grill. They've kept the iconic look of the Wrangler. However, they've made it a little more sleek. I'm okay for it. Plus, for the guys that are out there, or guys like me that like to modify their Jeeps, the fenders are off, the bumpers are going to be off. The grill might change. So honestly, it might just look like a JK on steroids. That's my opinion. I think it's not bad. I think it's going in with the times. And those are my two bits about it. So please comment below. Let us know what you guys think of the new JL. If you agree with me that times are changing. And so is the need for the regular to change. Yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's a lot more information on the website again. Details of all sorts of specs. There's an owner's manual up there too. I don't want to bore you with a whole bunch of images and just a lot of talk. Super excited to see it at the auto show. Stay tuned. We're going to be heading there February 2018 and then I'll be heading to my local dealership to take a look at the Wrangler, give you guys a walk around and do a test drive. So stay tuned for a lot more cool videos. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like, share and cheap. Just empty every pocket. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.